Uh, I don't know if I can do this video, Keith. I, I'm not feeling all that well. What's the matter, Ken? I'm a little gassy. <laughs> Buddy, where are you going? Ah, oh, come on. Do you think the Mini 2 can fly with half the propellers gone? No way, no how. Uh -uh. Well, I happen to think that it will fly with 50% of the props, and I have a teeny tiny little screwdriver to prove it. I'm going to remove one blade from each motor, giving it essentially half the propellers. Out of consideration for weight, I will be replacing the screw without the blade, just so that uh, it's got a little bit more balance. What do you think? Will it fly? Nope. You sure? Nope. Come on, man. Maybe. Okay, at this point, you're probably thinking, Ken, you're crazy. That's not going to work. Well, the reason why I thought it would work is because I saw a video by this wonderful Scottish gentleman named Windswept Robert on YouTube. I'll put a link in the description. He lost a blade on his Mini 2 during one of his Litchi missions, and it made it back fine. When I got Lassie back in, she's missing a propeller. Look at this. This prop has been broken off. I don't know if it will be in focus or not, but that is actually sheared right off. But she's a trooper. You know why she's called Lassie? Because she always comes home. So I thought, well, why don't I just ramp this up and remove four of them? All right, the moment of truth. Oh, 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 hell, oh, hell. Oh, oh. you broke it. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. You were right. <laughs> Turn the camera around, show the face of someone who was right. Look at that. Mm. I was genuinely surprised at this result. This is a great example of just how well engineered your drone is. More on that in a moment. Right now, let's return to Confused Ken. Oh man, the other ones are okay. I wanna try it again, let's get some glue. By the way, a replacement arm for the Mini 2 is only $22. So, after the failed Mini 2 experiment, I wanted to see if I could make a balanced one-blade propeller work, so I grabbed my trusty Phantom 4 stunt drone. I didn't want to ruin a good set of original 9450S props, so I decided to mangle the shitty low-noise propellers. You know, these are the ones that make the Phantom 4 fly like a drunk chicken. In my mind, all I needed to do was make sure one blade was disabled but kept the same mass for balance. After all, there are one-bladed helicopters that use the same principle. They have a blade on one side and a counterweight on the other. I attach my newly crafted and perfectly balanced one-sided blades to the Phantom, put on protected gear, and let her rip. Many of you ninth graders have already figured out why this didn't work. It took me a few minutes, but I finally remembered. Angular momentum. Angular momentum is the quantity of rotation of a body, which is the product of its moment of inertia and its angular velocity. Because the melted glob of prop blade was close to the axis of the rotation, the force needed to spin the propeller is less. For this to work, the glob, or counterweight, actually needs to be close to the motor hub, but heavier than the opposing blade. When I moved the blade's mass closer to the axis, I changed the balance by changing the moment of inertia. The moment of inertia is a measure of the resistance of a body to angular acceleration about a given axis that is equal to the sum of the products of each element of mass in the body and the square of the element's distance from the axis. Just don't melt your props. It'll shake your drone to hell and it won't fly for shit. All right, two more things before we wrap this up. One, how did our Scottish friend's drone make it back with a missing blade? I think it was because he had a full blade complement on the other motors and that was just enough to stabilize it to return to home. So why did my Mini shake itself apart? <laughs> I did not notice this until I was editing, but I failed to do a pre-flight check on that arm and if I did, I would have noticed that it was already cracked. Yeah, even an experienced drone pilot can miss stuff like this. So don't just assume your drone is fine because it flew alright five minutes ago. Always inspect it before the next flight. That said, I might try this again after I install the new arm. So we learned an important lesson today, and that lesson is... What? Never listen to Ken. Oh, yeah. Well, there's that. And the importance of uh, motor balancing. Mm. You know, back in the olden times, they used to have these things that would balance your propellers for this very reason. Yes. Because even the slightest bit of extra weight on one or the other sides will result in some breakage. If you do this, make sure that you have 
somewhere to put the little screw because son of a bitch, it's gone. Huh, ah, there it is, okay. If that had rolled off the table, I would have been screwed. It slices, it dices, it purees. It makes mounds of julienne fries. Now, how much would you pay? This one-time limited offer, $19.99. But wait, there's more. Order within the next 15 minutes and re receive a second inside the eggshell egg scrambler at no extra cost. As well as 1984's NFL bloopers on VHS. <laughs>